All right, we are here with my friend Laurent Masifi here at Unicellar at CES Unveiled. We're always trying to find some of the coolest things that are here. And you look, I see this telescope, but I know this is not your average telescope. So Laurent, can you tell me a little bit about this? Well, uh, at Unicellar, we make the most powerful consumer telescope you will ever find. Uh, we have this we, we have this telescope that is able to do four key things that you don't see in normal telescopes. First thing, it's uh, the first truly smart telescope. It's able to uh, recognize the sky on its own and automatically guide you, point any object you want, and even suggest objects of interest to you depending on where you are and when you're observing. Is this is this a uh planets and constellations like planets constellations galaxies nebulae comets what type of planet like what planets can i see oh uh, you can see jupiter mars uh, wow. venus with this telescope you can see it because we have uh, low light sensor technology and we do we we have developed enhanced vision technology that uses uh, image stacking that was developed by uh, professional astronomers in the past that we've integrated in this consumer telescope and made better for smaller telescopes. And that allows us to reveal Uranus, but also faraway galaxies. Is it, is, here's the thing, light, like for me, light pollution, I live in Los Angeles, is there some way that this can ha you know, yeah. handle that? That's the third element we've developed. We make telescopes for consumers, and consumers tend to live in cities. Big problem with light pollution. So we developed a light pollution reduction technology that allows users to uh, observe even from uh, downtown, even downtown Las Vegas. We made a demonstration uh, two years ago. This year, weather not so good. Uh, we, probably, we will try to make a demo on Friday. And the fourth thing is that we have 10,000 users around the world now. These are connected telescopes. This is extremely valuable for scientists because they don't have uh, distributed networks around the world of telescopes like that. And we have a partnership with NASA that uses this capability we have to relay between users around the world as the night moves around the Earth to make observations that are longer than the typical night at a given point. Wow, so, that's, that's uh, pretty incredible. Yeah. I mean, it's a lot of power. Now, this specific, um, this is the Equinox 2? Equinox 2, yeah. Um, is it available now? Or? It's available now uh, for purchase and pre-order on our website and delivery in February. And to make up for the weight, we offer the backpack. This is a oh. sale we have for the launch. Special sale, you have the high-grade backpack offered with it. Okay, this, this is incredible, Laurent. Thanks so much. Thank you. Appreciate it. It was a pleasure. Yes, sir. All right, I'm here with a doctor in the house. Dr. Takayuki, hello, thank you for joining us. Yeah, hello, thank you. Thank you, so you're with Pixie Dust Technologies and in his hand, this is called the Sono Repro. And you know, you come out, you come out to see us unveiled and you see some things you're like, what exactly is this? So I ask you, sir, what exactly is this? Yeah, so this is ultrasonic scalp care device. So when, uh, when turn on, the ultrasound is generated. Uh, ultrasound focal point is generated here. So you're saying there's ultrasound yeah. from coming yeah. from here. Yeah. So you can feel something. Up oh, I can. I felt that. Yeah. I felt a little like a like a tingle on my fingers. Yeah. So kind of vibration or kind of air hole. Okay. Uh, such kind of uh, non-contact force stimulates uh, your scalp. Stimulates skin. the scalp. Yeah. Now, are you saying that it'll grow hair or it'll stimulate the scalp? So uh, actually, uh, previously. Uh, we developed a large device, <laughs> large ultrasonic device in AGA clinic in yeah. Japan. Yeah. So, so this is the small version yes. of such a device. The yeah. larger one would look like this, but like big over your head, right? Yeah. So this is a uh, yeah, small one, so you can handle uh, hold it with one hand. It's supposed to stimulate the follicles, right? Oh, there you go. Yeah. Oh, it makes a sound too. Yeah. I can hear it. Kind of. Uh, yeah, like a. Yeah. Da -da -da -da. What if? If I have a spot here that I want some help, I put it here too? Yeah. What about here? Can it work here? Mm. No, 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 no. Mm -hmm. It's supposed to be for the head. Yeah, yeah. Just for scalp. I'll keep, I'll keep it for the scalp. Yeah. So when is this going to be available? Currently, uh, this is only in Japan. Only in Japan. Yeah. Okay. And in future, we want to uh, enter the USA. Yeah. And this is uh, one of the CES Innovation Awards, right? Yeah. Here, let's smile together, okay? Let's smile. <laughs> All right, thank you very much. 
All right, so a lot of great things here at Unveiled, and I'm joined by John Luna, CEO of Nuhira. That's a cool name. Yeah, it is. <laughs> Nuhira is a great name. And so these look like earbuds, but there's so much more to the story, and this is fascinating. So, John, I'd love to kind of hear you sure. and what you have to say about this product and what's going on here. Excellent. Well, the HP Hearing Pro is the world's first FDA cleared self fitting hearing aid for OTC sale. And we took all the learnings we had from our previous products that we've launched at CES, and we brought them out in an over-the-counter hearing aid for consumers 18 and over, because the law changed here in the US, um, where hearing aids are available now over-the-counter uh, as of October 17th, 2022. And so what we've done is we have an app that uh, allows the consumer to test their hearing, called the HP Hearing App, and uh, they use Ear ID to test hearing in both ears, and then it automatically adjusts to their hearing loss. Programs that the hearing aids self fits them, and then within 10 minutes they can be wearing a, a custom fit product. Wow, okay, so is this like a diagnostic, like on the app that runs, that sends signals to someone's ear so they can kind of figure out where they have well, you know, more hearing loss? Yeah, we actually use the NAL NL2 algorithm, which is a standard in the industry, to actually calibrate in the device and test to their individual hearing frequencies in each ear. The other thing that I learned about this is, um, price-wise, what are we targeting these for? These are $6.99 a pair. Uh, in retail, they're available for pre-order right now at Best Buy, uh, BestBuy.com, uh, Crutchfield, and other retailers. Um, it is FDA cleared, so the consumer should feel confident that it is, it is a, a, a safe and effective product. Uh, and it, it's, again, the first FDA cleared product for the self-fitting category. And, and the other thing is, right, a lot of times hearing aids, there's kind of like a stigma around them. And the, yeah. the way that these visually look yeah. is totally different. You know, I feel like people will feel more comfortable wearing these and not even have to think about, you know, how, how is someone looking at, at me or judging me differently? I mean, that's it's a subtle thing, but I think it's a big deal. It's subtle, and it, it also is one of the barriers for people doing something for their hearing loss. Right? If you've got a perceived mild to moderate hearing loss, you can actually you know, take take the device and see that it's an earbud form factor. Mm. So it looks nothing like a traditional earring. Yeah. It also streams uh, Bluetooth. Uh, and it also has active noise cancellation. So it has some of the features that you find in, not in a typical hearing aid, that you can use in your everyday life. For telephone calls, for listening to music, turning on the active noise cancellation, having a very immersive, high quality sound experience tailored to your hearing loss. So what's also fascinating is, right, the, law, the laws change that are now allowing these over-the-counter hearing aids. Um, this is something that we just haven't really honestly seen before. And then the other thing is, our, our regular hearing aids, are they, uh, what, a, a thousand, a couple thousand dollars, or there's a lot more than the, six. The average out of pocket is about four thousand dollars a pair. <laughs> so this is a big difference. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is incredible. So you hear uh, um, these are available now, you ne said? Starting next month. Starting next month. Okay. It's really cool. Thanks very, very cool. much. Appreciate right. it. Thanks, I appreciate it. There's not too many booths here that I it sounds silly, but that like really touch your heart and the core of you who you are. We're here at Yukai Engineering. I have a Shunsuke, I have Hiroko here, and I met Shunsuke maybe four or five years ago, um, and it was with the Kubo. This was like the petting pillow with a cat tail that was kind of therapeutic and allowed for comfort. Um, maybe a couple years ago, they had this little cute guy. What was the name of him? Amagami Ham Ham. Okay, and you put your finger in his mouth, and if you see that, he nipples it, and it, <laughs> It creates this like feeling, this like sensation. It's so incredible. So of course, you see them at the show. We see something like Light Tony, which matches when you sleep. Light Tony goes to sleep, and it has expressions. This is the how do I say this? The fufuli. Fufuli. fufuli? So Shunsuke Hiroko, can you tell me about the fufuli? So fufuli is a robotic cushion. The breeze. If this is breathing deeply, and if you're holding it, you also start to breathe deeply. <laughs> may, may I try and hold it and see what it feels like? I can feel it expanding and contracting against me, and it feels so comfortable. What are you inspired by? We believe that uh, every uh, physical uh, object uh, can have some spirit mm. inside it. Yeah, uh, we try to put uh, spirit in a product. Like, and it feels good. It feels good. I've never. I don't know. I mean, I don't want to get it too into it, but it feels good. Like, someone just came to our booth and said, "I'm just happy here." Yes. <laughs> what you're bringing to CES, there's no one. There's no one on the show floor like you guys. So I want to celebrate you. 
and you know thank you for just like the amazing you know creativity imagination and uh can i can i hold this one more time okay here come come together guys this is this is incredible um you come to see us unveiled and you know they say the future is here is at unveiled like i hope the future looks like what you kai engineering is like amazing thank you so much everybody all right